While on Poon's quest, I decided to take my HCF heat out for a more serious test drive. Accuracy is the name of the game here. If you'd like to see all of this and more, join me in today's episode. Let's play! Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, we are finally going to go for the main quest. Um, I think. <laughs> if uh, nothing else, uh, you know, kind of pops up like uh, like like it kind of does sometimes, we are definitely going to go for the uh, for the main quest. Now, if you remember, uh, where is it? So mutual dependencies. And we need to go all the way here. If you remember um, what the quest was about, then great. <laughs> uh, if you don't, basically we need to go to um, secure a place where uh, Poon and some other um, peers of his, I think, uh, will have a meeting. And uh, yeah, we uh, we got some cool gear just to just to be ready for that. Um, to be perfectly honest, most of it we found <laughs> just uh, laying around. But uh, they did give us some money, and we used that money to uh, buy some pretty. Um, I don't want to say that the equipment was bad, but. It was definitely an equipment that was bought by mistake. If you haven't seen the episode, I recommend it because it's pretty. <laughs> it's pretty funny, I think. Uh, at least watch uh, watch the uh, the intro because that's um, that's where I put the um, the whole situation in. Uh, you don't have to watch the whole episode, of course, you do, if you don't uh, really want. So. Um, Let's actually use the... I don't really use this uh, this thing as much as I probably should. Because it's, uh, it's pretty helpful. I just... I don't know. I just walk around most of the time. <laughs> um, oh yeah, and if you... Oh, they already started, of course. And if you missed the, uh, the last episode... Um, this is the... Okay, let me... Let me do something. I said that I was going to do this the last time and I didn't do it. Gameplay and I'm gonna switch this at least on medium I think. Um, so uh, if you missed the last episode I actually got my I think my favorite ranged weapon in the whole world which is a hand cannon. I think they look really badass and i love using them and to be honest i don't know why i love them so much um i don't really remember how it started um i mean i think hmm might that be the first one that i saw i think i might have seen them in i don't know if it was uh tree gun the uh the anime i hope i'm saying that name right uh, it's an old anime, it's uh, Vash the Stampede, the main character, and he has uh, he has one of these uh, hand cannons type of uh, pistols and it looks absolutely insane. And I think that's where I saw it the first time and absolutely fell in love with the, uh, with the weapon type, I guess we can call it. It was either in... Um, Okay, so we've already been through uh, through this tutorial. Um, so it was either in uh, Tree Gun or it was in Gun Grave. Um, I'm not sure which one it is, uh, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, but it, it's definitely those two. I'm not sure if it's in that order or maybe a different one. Um... But yeah, those two actually meant a lot, uh, meant a lot to me, and uh, yeah, they definitely kind of created this um, 
you know this idea in my head and uh, yeah I've I've loved them ever ever since um, I I also want to say that maybe in Alucard but I think he just had like some regular pistols if I'm not mistaken uh, I know his pistols were really cool but I don't think they were like a hand cannon looking maybe a revolver looking thing I, uh, I don't remember very well but uh, definitely um, definitely Gungrave and definitely um, um, Vash from uh, from um, you know from uh, from three gun I think those two were were really <laughs> really crucial to my <laughs> idea of a cool looking gun Plus, I'm I'm a very um, bow and arrow and swords kind of guy and spells and stuff like that. So weapons were always kind of difficult for me to um, to fall in love with. Um, but when I saw those two, oh man, it uh, it just allowed me to sort of love something that. I normally would not. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> um, this was a this was a weird beginning of an episode. <laughs> I hope you uh, you don't mind me sharing uh, this kind of stuff. But uh, I want to kind of give you guys a little bit of context towards you know why I like hand cannons and stuff like that. And same same thing with pistols. I think pistols and hand cannons, uh, if we were to separate them, um, okay. Uh, if I were to, you know, give them a, a place of, uh, you know, interest and stuff, I think those uh, those were the uh, the moments. Uh, those two and one other thing. Um, it's actually a movie and some of you might have seen it the, the movie is pretty old at this point I think uh, I think it's 2007 2008 and the movie's name is Wanted it's um, this movie with um, oh who was it um, Angelina Jolie, I think. Um, Morgan Freeman. I mean, it had a lot of really cool actors in it, but just to name a few. And um, okay. And um, oh my god, I can't believe I I forgot the name of the uh, the main character. And I actually really like him as an actor. Um, oh my god, I have the, uh, I'm drawing a blank here. Hmm, I'm gonna spend the whole episode trying to remember the, uh, the name of the actor. <laughs> of course, when you, when you're gonna see the video, even if I don't remember, I'm gonna, uh, look it up and post it, um, uh, and put it on the screen, but I was kind, kind of trying to, uh, remember his name <laughs> right now. Um, he also played in movies like uh, like Split, for example. Oh, come on, what's his name? Oh, I cannot freaking remember his name. James McAvoy. James McAvoy. Uh, yeah, and it's... I don't want to say it's a movie about guns, because obviously that's not it, but it's a movie that, on the surface level, um, it's about this, these uh, guys who can, um, they sort of call it um, something like they can bend bullets and um, basically they can alter the, uh, amongst, among other stuff, they can sort of bend the trajectory of bullets, whatever, it's not really important, but... Uh, in that movie, the um, 
they would use pistols and most of them were custom made for you know that specific person and stuff like that and i thought it was freaking beautiful uh if you've seen the movie especially the um the two um the two pistols that he uh, he gets towards the end they have like a uh weight at the end of them they kind of look like hand cannons maybe something between um i don't know hand cannon and like a uh like a pirate's pistol i don't know what that thing is called but um if you look it up you're gonna you're gonna know exactly what i'm talking about when you see them <laughs> And uh, yeah, that was a um, that was a very <laughs> um, weird intro in uh, why I actually <laughs> ended up liking pistols, uh, even though I don't really like you know firearms in general. Okay. Um. Okay, I keep getting some skins. I uh, haven't really focused on it too much because uh, I've been talking about pistols. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Uh, kind of took me by surprise, but um, yeah, we'll. Um, uh, I will try to read out loud the. Um, the skins that and the weapons that we get from uh, from now on the thing is a lot of them kind of um you know repeat after a while for example shirt skin um canary we already picked that one up like three times already so uh maybe i'll read just the new ones or something like that I don't know why I like how calm this uh, a P1 protector uh, is basically the first pistol we, ha we had, I think. Um, I don't know why I'm enjoying this really kind of calm and, oh my god, uh, calculated playstyle. <laughs> but I think it's really cool, like, every bullet matters. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, this is not a good place for us. Let me let me get some cover. I wonder if um, this game has snipers as well. I'm not sure, but I think I'm gonna enjoy snipers almost just as much as I'm gonna freaking die. This is kind of a weird spot because I cannot freaking see the uh, the health bar of the. Uh, the turret mch pants am i gonna die give me some health oh <laughs> thank you sir you've been extremely generous <laughs> new area discovered the grinder I will uh, get things done, sir. I wonder what a brute is. I don't think we've uh, we've ever fought uh, anything but like regular sized people. <laughs> um, so I'm curious to see if uh, this is a new enemy type or or what. Oh, I've, oh my god, I missed so much. What? What? <laughs> Is he trying to distract me? Oh! Oh, he patiently waited for me to reload. How generous of him. Did you guys see that? As soon as I finished reloading, he started shooting again. <laughs> that was perfect. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I feel way better with having the, uh, the aim assist on. And I don't really care about... You know, oh, he's using whatever. I'm having fun. <laughs> okay. Oh, what is that? 
why does he have like a um, skull above above his head? I don't know why, because he's not the hardest one to kill, I think. Oh my god. Whoa, did you see that damage? Okay. ED-10, uh, Sec Force Trousers. Okay. And another Dread. And we got some HP, but not a lot. I see another one on the floor, so that's perfect. Hmm. Oh, they're there. Oh, come on, he freaking moved. Oh, there's another big guy. Oh, look how many there are. Jesus Christ, let me... Let me see them explode. Oh, perfect. I might die, though. <laughs> Whoa, I'm taking a lot of damage. Oh, and I need to freaking reload. Oh, this is a bad moment for me. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh my god, that thing has homing. Come on. I did not expect that. And with my freaking... Um, freaking slow dodge I just there wasn't much that I could do there and I think with the dodging feels feels off I kind of want to dodge whenever I freaking want <laughs> ah, but anyway where are you guys oh I'm gonna start with the big guy Oh, perfect. I, uh, I dealt quite a little bit of damage to him. Oh. See, it has freaking homing. I did not know that. Oh, really? Oh, really? <laughs> ah, that was terrible. Oh, he takes quite. Ouch! I I take quite as well. <laughs> uh, I was gonna say I uh, he takes quite a lot of uh, stun damage, stagger damage, whatever. Oh, this was beautiful, precise, efficient. Oh man, perfect. Um, so kill the full crumbs three out of four. Okay, okay. No rushing, no reason to rush. Beautiful, absolutely freaking beautiful. Ah, uh, so we still need one more of those guys. And I'm gonna look around. Because I have not explored the, uh, the whole circle, basically. So I'm gonna stick relatively close to the edge. Oh, there he is. Oh, I was hoping the other guys will uh, follow this guy. Oh, well. Oh, I'm about to die. Oh, that guy's... Oh, come on. He was almost dead because of the, uh, the volatile... That's unfortunate. Man, health uh, health drops in this game, like, <laughs> for real. Or maybe I just don't have the, um, the necessary gear. I don't even know. But I, uh, I'm taking quite, quite a little bit of damage. Uh, one other bad thing that I kind of do is that I don't really use cover that much. And I should. <laughs> Much better. Excellent. You probably boosted our overall IQ average while you were at it. Come join me at the moat. Wait, what? 
Oh, at the moot. I thought uh, he asked me to go back to the uh, Serenity. <laughs> Serenity Plus. The uh, the bar we uh, we took the quest from. Oh, nice size. What the freaking hell. Anybody else still alive? Oh, nice. Oh. <laughs> oh, and... <laughs> His uh, grenade exploded. Nice. This game is freaking cool, man. This game is cool. I'm uh, I'm really enjoying it. Yes, I do have some stuff that I would like to see, you know, in a different way, of course. We all have that kind of thing. Um, but hey, it's uh, it's pretty. Pretty freaking close <laughs> uh, to everything that I could possibly want. So at least so far, of course, we have not experienced the whole game and stuff like that. But you know, so far so good. Oh, of course, I'm the first guy here. <laughs> oh, never mind. I thought it was going to be a battle or something. Oh, never mind. <laughs> That didn't take too long. Oh, what is that? What the freaking hell is that? Oh, is he like a main villain? Well, villain, whatever. You know what I mean. Oh, let me try to do some stuff here. Perfect. Oh, and I took that grenade straight to the face. It was a fair grenade exchange, okay? <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this whole thing with uh, enemies popping up from each and every side. Like, sure, it kind of... Whoa, what, are... what? what is happening? Um, I mean, yeah, sure, it, it keeps you on your toes and stuff like that, but from a logical standpoint, it doesn't always make sense to be surrounded by enemies, I think. Oh, look at the big guys coming for me. Oh, what? What? <laughs> they can do freaking shockwaves. Come on, man. <laughs> How was I supposed to know that? <sighs> Sorry about that, guys. I, uh, I did not know they were actually, you know, ranged enemies. <laughs> I also like how everybody kind of left and I'm all by myself. I don't know why they do this in games. It makes no sense. I think 4 versus 20 is still pretty legit. <laughs> I'm taking a lot of damage. I'm either taking a lot of damage or I don't have enough defense. <laughs> either one of the two. They look like jacked rabbits from <laughs> from the back <laughs> with those ears. Now I know. Now oh and they also apparently go through uh, pillars and stuff. Oh Oh my god, does that thing have freaking infinite range or what? Let me try to keep the uh, the fire on on both of them. Because, hey, some damage over time could not possibly be a bad thing. What? What hit me there? That was kind of weird. Oh, the first one's gonna go down. Yep. You're next, bruh. You are freaking next. I'm telling you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that was beautiful. Whatever. I'm coming out. 
Okay, <laughs> you're coming up. That's that's great. <laughs> there, meeting done. Raging success. The other bosses are on board. We'll begin coordinating our cluster SIs and redistributing vital supplies in a few hours. We still have plenty of work to do, but this is as good a start as we could hope for. But who the flaming f with those amped up flatliners? Damn it! I need more problems about as much as I need a rectum on my forehead. And yes, <laughs> I know there are a few evolutionary dead ends like that around, but you get my drift. Someone's pinging me. Hang on. Pony here. Yes. Yes. No. Fuck. <laughs> that was Admin Denker. While we were splooging all over ourselves here, someone went and grabbed a whole bunch of havers. My havers! Seems the attack here was a diversion for the kidnapping. Oh. I gotta get back. Don't stray too far! I have a feeling we'll need your help again soon. Okay. Well, that was pretty cool. Um... I don't know why I have a feeling that they used a bit too much subsurface scattering for the for the face. Was it just me? He had almost like a like a candle complexion to him. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. Um Can I go here? No. Okay. Uh don't get me wrong, it, it looked pretty cool and it definitely looks cool, you know, for a top-down type of game, but but like his skin had just a little bit too much uh, subsurface scattering. Oh, so. Oh, don't mind if I do. We have fast travel? I didn't know we have fast travel in this game. Uh, where is it? So, the uh, the imp said north of where I am, I think. Oh, come on. Really? Will it be, though? I don't think so. <laughs> he freaking blew up. Oh. So, is the ping directing us to, um, let me, let me check, um, no, so this is, uh, that, oh, is this the, uh, hmm, maybe that's, uh, that's what I'm looking for, and there's also a side quest here, can I pick it up, basically, I don't think so, okay, so, uh, I think we're gonna try to keep going north then, see if uh, we can use the uh, the transport cool. I don't know why I enjoyed this kind of chill play style I shoot my gun I do some stuff everything's fine <laughs> oh wait let me deal with these guys first first come first serve come on That was a bad moment. And everybody's dead. Let's get some HP. I uh, I wonder if the difference between paying with cash and blowing that thing up is the fact that if you blow it up, you can never use it again. That would be uh, that would be interesting to see. Uh, so let's check the the side quest. Bert, I'm fucked. Razor's petal uh, petals got me cornered. Um, can hear them cursing outside. I'm uh, gonna call in that favor. I hid my dad's weapon over in gratitude. A storage in an abandoned pizzeria. Look for Linus Pizza Place. Get it and give it to Iris. 
I want her to have something to remember me by. Last I heard, she's working some micro joint in cluster 13. Fuck, they're breaking down the... <laughs> okay, so we got a side quest as well. Let's... Uh, are we close to the... Uh... We are almost there. I think I mentioned this before, but I don't really like the hype stuff. I think it would have been way, way better if uh, it would have been, you know, down. Um, basically, where the where the actual point is. Can we open this? No, we cannot. I'm curious to see how I can upgrade the uh, the cyber deck or whatever, because. I have not seen a way so far. Oh, that was that was clean. One bullet, one kill. Wait, what? That was a civilian? Come on, man. Okay. P20 slab worker chest plate. Okay. Oh, uh, and I see a chest nearby. Oh, please tell me I can open this one. No, that's... Hmm, that's unfortunate. Am I going the wrong... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, so starting now we can... Uh, we can find these in the wild? <laughs> Why are you running? Where are you running? Jesus Christ, look at that speed. Oh, that was, that was my bad. Come on, just die already. Let's see what happened to those guys. So, one of them is just around the corner. Perfect. Some HP, please. Thank you. Uh, should we look at some gear? We, uh, we probably should because we picked up a lot of stuff recently. Um, so, okay, so I'm not in the right place. So we're going to keep going this way. But first, let me, let me check the gear. So armor for the torso. We have this thing. That's pretty normal. <laughs> Looks pretty cool. This is the, the handyman uh, <laughs> backpack. Okay, so let's see. 510-03-051-005526. Yeah, but I don't really like the way it looks, so... <laughs> um, oh, this is the... Uh, this is decent. Oh, look at the stats. We're keeping this one. Oh, and this one has the, like the, uh... oh no, wait, is it the same? No, it's not. This, uh, this other one has some other stuff under it and uh, also some sleeve that goes right through my hand. <laughs> yeah, I hate when I see things like this, but it's pretty good. So I think I'm going to, oh, this one's pretty cool too. So 2810. Okay, it's way better on the, uh, what was that, the uh, digital whatever. I don't even know what that is. And, hmm, to be honest, they're both kind of, at least in my mind, they're kind of equal. Yeah, I'm going to keep the uh, the one that, that I already had on, which is kind of sad, but <laughs> whatever. Um, And the pants, do we have anything better? Hmm, not really. Nope. We don't really have anything better, so I'm gonna keep that one on. And we got a biometric timestamp. What is that? Uh, records your vitals for restoration after a short amount of time. What? I have no idea what that means. Uh, records your vitals for restoration after short amount of time 
Oh, I see. So with biometric, uh, with the biometric timestamp, you can shrug off recent injuries as if they never happened. A true marvel of augmented medicinal uh, technology. Hmm. Should we throw away the punch maybe? Can I put it on? Yeah, I can. Okay, cool. This will uh, will give us a little bit more tankiness in a way. Okay, so let's see what's up with the um, with the transportation thingy. Uh, we need to go downstairs. I think so. And oh, oh, that's freaking cool. Cluster 13. Oh my god. And achievement unlocked tourist. That's freaking sick, man. Bravo. Honestly, bravo. Um I think the the side quest is lower though. So Let's go talk to Poon and see what else he needs from us. Let me let me check something. I wonder if the um Oh my god, so we see the uh, the tutorials every freaking time. I want to see if the uh, the um uh, the thing changes the um inventory. Oh, so we get some new ones. That's awesome. So two hand can uh, two hand cannons. That's freaking cool. So technically this one's better than mine in terms of damage. And so damage per shot. Damage per second. Okay. And what does this mean? Does this mean it's electric? I think so. Okay, so mine is fire, which is true. And this one is electric. Ooh, that would be sick. Uh, fire mode single, rounds per second, 4.5 and 3. Oh, so this is slower than mine. Uh, clip size 8, 15. Ooh, that would be sick. Uh, reload time 3.2 6 why is it equal though it's literally i mean almost literally double that's kind of weird oh it's because uh, it has 15 bullets so basically you would reload this one two times and maybe that's why this is and knockback 300 um i don't think i'm gonna buy it because i'm really happy with what i have and to be honest i'm not gonna know how to differentiate be between them <laughs> to be perfectly honest with you this one looks sick though uh this one's almost the same as mine but it has more uh more damage per second and also per shot is uh okay 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 so it's pretty much the same one why is it per shot bigger though oh because it's between between 36 and 45 my bad so the uh, it has 45 but uh, the starter number let's say is uh 36 instead of 30 and that's a big difference between the two uh and i have no idea what that means is that physical or what does that uh let me let me check um i have no idea wait can i look here hmm i have no idea what the uh i think it's physical or something let's see in codex uh tutorials att attributes no not attributes Damage types. Um, that's it. 
That's that's all that I get. Hmm. It's kind of weird. Yeah, whatever. Uh, it's kind of weird that you don't have a faster access to that information, or I'm just retarded and I don't know where where to look. But whatever. Um, are we close? No, wait. I'm going the wrong way. It's this. Uh, it's this way. I didn't think I'd be showering in urine ever again after you fixed the WMD, but it seems the golden showers won't dry up anytime soon. <laughs> the kidnappers didn't just grab any random haber when they came reading. Instead, they managed to kidnap almost every key alpha and beta level indent in the cluster. The very people we need to keep this place running. Interesting. Corpsec disintegrating, I currently have zero access to the security systems. So I don't have a fucking clue where our havers are, who took them, or why. <laughs> he's uh he's not very happy about it. <laughs> I mean obviously to cripple our cluster, they couldn't have done a better job. I need you to get these people back. Not for their sake, but for ours. <laughs> As long as his uh, reasons are pure. <laughs> You're gonna need help infiltrating the security systems, and I might have a lead for you. There's a quiche. Yeah, I know. But he's a mean ice cracker, a real net sage. I've employed his services once before. Unfortunately, it didn't end well, and I... I might have screwed him over. A bit. <laughs> of course you did, Poon. Of course you did. Wait. Is that, is this part of the, uh, whatever he's having? Or is this thing floating? I don't know, it's kind of weird. Needless to say, he's not accepting my pings. So it's gonna have to be face to face. And I'm done leaving the office. <laughs> I've learned that he set up shop in Black Lake Towers. Where they had the flood. That's what I have. Cost me a good sum. What more do you want to know? Um, Onyx Void? What is that? Alpha and Beta. Okay, let's ask about the Onyx Void because I'm what curious. You already know. They're the most powerful syndicate in the common and definitely here on Velis. I wouldn't go up against them if we had choice, but we don't. And if we don't get those havers back, our cluster is doomed. Oh, okay. Um, Black Lake Towers? Yeah, I know it's abandoned. And no, I don't know how to find him. That's why I'm asking you to do it, f brains! What? <laughs> Chill, bro. Chill. Done. We need those people back pronto. Go get them. Yes, sir. Okay, well, um... I think it's, uh... It's time for us to, um... You know, ease up, uh... Some of uh, Poon's uh, <laughs> anger <laughs> by uh, by getting those people back. Um, let's see. I'm curious to see how far it is. Okay, it's not necessarily too far away, and we could take the uh, the subway to Gratitude. That's so cool. Like, think about the sentence that I just said. <laughs> you can take the subway. To get to your next objective. That's freaking cool. I uh, I think that was pretty freaking awesome. Okay guys. Well actually I think I'm going to stop the. Um, the uh, the episode here. So that we can focus on the. Um, on the whole. You know on the whole quest. Uh, next time. It's probably going to take at least. Half an hour more I think. Um. And we are already basically 45 minutes in, I think. And uh, yeah, I hope uh, I hope you're enjoying these videos. I uh, 
and and obviously the uh, the game i think it's pretty awesome i apart from a few things with the dodging and stuff like that i think it's pretty freaking awesome and it's beautiful it's detailed it's freaking cool so all of this being said thanks so much for joining me in today's adventure and i will see you next time take care